What is going on guys? My name is Hussein and in this video I want to discuss TCP half open. So why do we need to half open a TCP connection and what is that first and, and what is it used for and what are its impact? How about we jump into it guys? So guys TCP half open is a technique is actually a state where the server, let's put a server, boom, just like that. So TCP guys, what happened during the TCP? The first thing the client says, okay, I wanna establish a connection to you, miss you server. And let's say the server IP address is just A for simplicity, and it's open on port 80, which is the web port here. So what the, what the client does, it sends something called the sin packet and we discussed what that mean right and it says hey this is my ip address let's say the ip address of the client is b okay and uh, i am want to go to a and i want to go to port 80 right and this is my random inbound port which is i don't know one two three four random right so that's what happened and when the server receives that sin and says, okay, you want to go to my IP address and this is the port, let's check, is this port open? And if it is, the server will reply with something called, we discussed that, sin ack. And what that, what that means is, says, hey, I'm going to acknowledge the sin you just sent and this is my sin and I'm going to going to you, B, and port one, two, three, four, and coming from moi, A, port 80. I guess it's gonna be flipped, huh? But sure, you get the idea, <laughs> all right? And then the server, the client will say, okay, I am going to acknowledge your sin back, the sin act. So that's the three-way handshake. What happened here in the TCP, ha TCP half open is a technique where is very popular in port scanning application. And just to know if this port is open, it's enough for us to receive a SYN, right? And wait for the SYNAC and immediately just close the connection, right? If you can do that, that means if we receive this SYNAC, that means the port is open. So we don't complete the whole connection, right? We just destroy it in the middle, leaving the server in and uh, essentially a half open state, right? That's that's the trick. All right, so let's do this again, right? Let's say we have port 80 open and port 443 open, which is the TLS port, and port, I don't know, 22 is open. And I want to write an app that basically scans the server for open ports. So what this app does is literally does a send request on starting from known well, well known ports right so okay let's start port 80 okay so what the server will reply is okay port 80 is actually open so i'm going to respond back with the sin ack right that means okay it's open okay so let's repeat this and the, when the client when the client receives that it will immediately just terminate at this end, right? It will not respond with ACK, right? Because if you respond with ACK, you're essentially committing to the to leaving the TCP connection open, right? And we don't want that, right? So we do that and then immediately terminate the connection. And now we know that the client, the port 80 is open, okay? And when you do that, when you don't leave, the, the server will wait for a little bit and will resend actually the SYN ACK because it will try to resend that until it gets an acknowledgement. And then after a, a while, it will shut down that half opened connection. Okay, so that's essentially what half open is. And you can imagine now doing the same thing with other ports, right? Let's try another port. It will try port uh, 25. And then after a while, the client will not receive the acknowledge the same act from the server because port 25 is not open, right? So that will know that port 25 is not open and we'll try point 26 and then try point 28 until it goes pro port 22 and the server will reply, okay, sin act, I am open, baby. Sin act, I am open on port 22. Shoot away. And then the client will do the same thing. All right, guys, so that's the TCP half open. You, you, the server will be in a half open state. So it is still waiting for acknowledgement for the client, 
but it is kind of not completing the handshake, right? So these things, if you do them over and over again, you can actually flood the whole server and, and that might not be a good idea. That's one technique where the send spoofing attack happens, which I'm gonna discuss in another video. So it was like a very quick video to discuss TCP half open, port scanning application use that a, a lot, right? If, you, if I wanna know, what is the easiest way to know if a port is open? Well, you can telnet into that port, but that's that is that's just too expensive, right? If you have access to raw level sockets in your application, you can just do send a raw send, okay? And then reply back, the server will reply back by SYNAC. If it does, if it replies back, that means, okay, that means this port is open. If it didn't, well, well. That port is closed and you move on to the other port, right? Do this a lot and you might get blocked, right? So this is only possible in certain configuration because some firewalls actually block this behavior if it notice that, right? Uh, Cloudflare definitely blocks you from doing that in some, in some application. But yeah, so that's a, that's a part, part of the things I want to discuss, guys. Uh, I'm going to see you in the next one, guys. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.